After being hung up in the state legislature before, it's now Governor Brian Sandoval's call to approve a talking texting ban here in Nevada. If he signs it into law, you could be ticketed for texting or talking without a hands-free device as early next year. Zaid Arab joins us live with more on this story. Zahid. Well, Chris, distractive driving is often called a deadly epidemic. Last year, 5,500 people died from it. But the way some drivers we spoke to see it, just because there's a ban doesn't mean people won't break the law. No, no, we got to get one. It doesn't stand out like the Las Vegas sign. Nope. How about that red car there? But in just minutes. Right here, this one right here. Right here, right here. There it is. There's one. After a good look at traffic. Oh, there's one right there. Comes two. There's another one. Right there. All Julio Gamboa sees See, they're texting. are people using cell phones. Texting. Something he's guilty of. I text myself and, uh, you know, I do catch myself sometimes not paying attention. I got to, you know, stop real quick. But his sister wasn't so lucky. She dropped her phone. She was texting. She dropped it and uh, she got in a car accident. So, I mean, it's pretty dangerous. And that's a, a 4,000 pound killing machine that you're behind the wheel of and it deserves your full attention. According to the Nevada Highway Patrol, it's hard to pinpoint how many crashes are caused by cell phones because most drivers give a different reason for an accident. Sergeant Kevin Honey says a law will cause people to pay more attention. A gut feeling is obviously that traffic collisions will go down as a result of this, but um, time will tell. I would say probably 75 percent of people still hold the phone to their ear. Nancy Douglas offers a different perspective. Hi, Bird. She's from California where a texting and talking while driving ban has been in effect for about three years now. People find other ways to talk on the phone without having to be seen or they just seem to watch out to see if anybody's looking and when they see somebody then maybe they put it down. Oh, there goes the textaholic right there. He needs program. <laughs> got the pros and the cons, you know, people for it, people against it. If it was up to me, to be honest with you, I'd just leave it the way it is. If the governor signs it into law, police wouldn't start issuing warnings until October 1st, but once again, they won't ticket anyone until next year. Now, first time offender will pay $50. They'll pay $100 for their second offense and $250 for their third offense or any time after that. Reporting live, Zahid Arab, 8 News Now.